Okay, so I was giving everybody a lesson on uh, wolves. Now let's talk about bison. There are approximately 4,600 bison that roam in Yellowstone. Yeah, we've seen two of them. Yep, that's right, we've seen two. At the turn of the 20th century, America's wild bison, which had at one point numbered 60 million, that's six zero million, had dwindled to about two dozen bison. Now the bison in Yellowstone today, they are considered the descendants of those survivors, of those uh, 12, I mean two dozen I should say, so 24. The uh, bison can weigh up to 2,000 pounds and the two that we saw back there, I would easily guesstimate them to be at least 1,500 to 2,000 pounds, wouldn't sure. you? Sure, sure. Okay. Um, apparently they've been known to charge at visitors who approach them too closely, so that was another reason why we kept our distance because, hey, it's all about arriving alive, right? You can also find them in uh, the Lamar and Hayden Valleys along with the wolves. And probably that's because the wolves like to hunt bison, so they would be in the same areas. Uh, you can also see them in Pelican Valley. Now, let's talk a little bit about the elk. In summertime, uh, there are between 10,000 to 20,000 elk. And I'm imagining that the number quite depends upon how hungry the wolves are. So they apparently uh, drop to about 5,000 in the winter. An adult bull elk weighs up to 700 pounds. And the females weigh up to 500 pounds. So yeah, you probably don't want to get charged at by an elk either. You're going to lose. Their rear ends are white, kind of have a little heart shape on them too, real fluffy. Uh, and they're fluffier in the winter, it looks like. Uh, and they, and basically the white bottoms give them away when people are looking out for elk. Elk congregate at lower elevations during their rut from September to October making fall the best time to spot them, although we didn't have a problem spotting them at all. And that was what? All, all along the approach to Yellowstone we on the east any, entrance. We seen any elk. Oh no, I'm sorry, not the elk. Not the elk. I got I got confused for a second. I was thinking of antelope because of the, the fluffy butts. Anyway, so uh, September to October for elk spotted in, again, the Lamar Valley, which is where the wolves are, because again, the wolves are their predator, uh, Gibbon River, Norris Junction, Mammoth Hot Springs, and Madison Junction. So, Norris Junction and Mammoth Hot Springs, make sure you put those on your list, because those are some phenomenal geysers. Moose, the largest member of the deer family. Meese? Meese. Yes, they have a long snout, they have a bulbous nose, and a dewlap under the throat that distinguishes them from other hoofed animals in Yellowstone. They love ponds, streams, and marshes, and they also are vegetarian. Who would have thunk it, right? Hello. In any event, Moose are most heavily concentrated in Grand Teton National Park. You can look for them at Willow Flats, Christian Pond, and Oxbow Bend. There are about a hundred or so moose in uh, Willow Park between Norris Junction and Mammoth, uh, plus Yellowstone Lake, Fishing Bridge, West Thumb, and Hayden Valley. So it doesn't look like you're gonna have a great opportunity to see moose, to be perfectly honest with you, if there's only about 100 of them. So 40% chance of snow showers in Yellowstone National Park. Lovely. It's currently 50 degrees right now, and a 40% chance of snow showers. Uh, so 